Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out this 3 inch frame from iFlight RC. This is the Trans Frame X3. It's supposed to be 140 millimeters motor to motor, and it's got a single bottom plate, one piece, and it's got a 4 millimeter bottom plate. And it's got this sort of interesting pod design on top here. It looks pretty much very similar to the Trans Frame X5, and the pieces kind of go together the same way. Basically, what you want to do is you want to take two side plates here and then slide them into this top plate. They kind of notch in together. And at that point you want to uh, secure the two side plates with this uh, shorter standoff here to hold the two sides together and the one back here. And then that will basically hold everything together. And then you can put these longer standoffs in place uh, by using these screws here, the button head screws. And then at that point, the whole pod, the whole top part will be uh, together in one piece. And then you can secure that to the bottom plate using the four screws that are here. And everything is countersunk and nice and flat. And then you have uh, the inside here. This is a 20 by 20 size stack for your flight controller and ESCs. You could use these uh, countersunk screws and then the standoffs are included. Or you can use the whatever hardware came with your particular power stack. Uh, whether it be HGLRC or whatever, whatever you happen to have, you can just uh, put that in there. Now the uh, carbon here is very nice as usual from uh, iFlight. The edges are not beveled, so they're pretty sharp, but the cuts are all clean. So no complaints about the cuts. There's no uh, burring or splintering. Uh, but something you should probably want to do is, they, they do include a battery strap, for example, but they... Uh, didn't chamfer the edges here and so when you, when you slide the battery strap in here uh, it could get cut here so you might want to use a file to smooth this down a little bit so that the battery strap does not get cut by the carbon. Uh, on the I think the, the X Transfer X5 they chamfered the edges especially in this area so uh, it'll be better for your battery strap and they can give you a smaller battery strap for the 3 inch uh, micro. The stiffness of the frame is very solid. I uh, was not able to really Flex it very much, and I think the the uh, 3K carbon here is cut correctly. Of course, we don't know what the layers look like inside. They might be rotated 45 degrees or 90 degrees to add additional strength, but the frame itself uh, feels very, very strong to me. And I believe the only uh, motors that can uh, mount to this frame are going to be the 13XX or the 14XX series, so I don't believe the 11XX series motors will fit this frame. Okay, so let's get a few measurements here, and the arm is 4.1 millimeters, side plate is 1.6, top plate's 1.9, the uh, camera side plate's 1.7. So the frame does feature this uh, GoPro mount here, and you can run a battery strap through this little slot here if you want to mount your GoPro. And I got one right here, and it would look like this. Pretty, it's pretty big. Obviously, you're going to need some pretty powerful motors to carry this around, but you got uh, about a looks like about a 40 degree angle on your GoPro, so looks like it'll it'll fit no problem. It's just whether you, whether you have the power system to carry the weight. If we measure the width of the FPV camera area, it's 22 millimeters. So if you want to use this with a micro Swift style camera, it's going to be a little bit too wide for that. But if you want to use a mini style camera, so the Runcam Swift Mini, or the Aero Mini. This fits perfectly. You can see it's actually designed for these mini cameras. So this is the camera you probably want to get. If you want to use the Micro Swift, you're probably going to need some sort of an adapter. Okay, so let's get a weight measurement. This frame comes in at 57.24 grams. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I think if you've got some 14OX motors, a mini Swift type camera, and like a 20x20 20 20, like HGLRC power stack could be pretty pretty easy build and should be a fun flyer on three inches a lot of power probably rec would recommend uh, 4s this is a little bit on the heavier side but this is uh, probably going to be very durable very thick arms the construction looks very solid overall uh, I think your electronics are going to be well protected uh, it does have the option of co potentially carrying a GoPro as well so I think this is a, ni a nice frame overall. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.